The solution is us. Now, these are these young ladies are mature enough to challenge the South to a private party. Anyone is served a private entrance? Hey, baby. Hey, Jim. I got to see if somebody logged back on. You had an accident? What kind of accident? Hey, Jim. <coughs> love you too, boo. I love you more. Hey, Jim. I'm waiting on somebody to come on so I can answer the question. Oh, switch your sweets. But I can roll with anything. Blunt wraps, joints. I got real good at rolling joints. Little doobies. But I can roll with anything. I used to love rolling with Dutch Masters, though. Because they were longer and they were kind of thick. I used to roll. <laughs> we used to smoke that motherfucker. And then I used to roll two of them together or three of them together and have a real long one, like that long. Pass it around. About four of us in a room. Okay, to answer your question, how, ooh. Well, is it a co-worker or is it a manager? Can I get that information? Because I think they have to be done differently. Because the security guard. He was on double duty and the power. So he's the security guard, and he's working with you. About well, for double duty. Oh. He's saying stuff to you. I we oh. Damn. This is like a phone call situation. This is something I didn't talk to you on the phone about. No shade. He was touching you. Y'all hold up. Now that's a whole other situation. You know what? It's always something called. Oh, no, ma'am. There's always something called a tablet. Your phone. And it's something on there called record. And that's another situation. You know, there's something with a phone that has something that say record camera and it has a record. If I was driving up to work, To have my phone on record as I have to go by security. If you have to go by security, have that on record. That is called documents. Proof. And if you're saying no, and they constantly, then after he was, baby, You probably want to start carrying you some type of mace. There's nothing more important to me than my vacation, so when I need it, I'm just going to leave it at carry mace. 
Because he sounded like he may be a little not wrapped too tight, Jim. But you better start thinking of how to protect yourself because if he got fired, you sure can't go to work with it. If he got fired, but you got to figure out now you got to think about your safety. You better think about when you're going home. Um, make sure nobody is following you. Because <clears throat> baby... That sounds scary. Let me reroute you. Thank you. These are mine too. But I have to go because someone needs me to call them. There's something going on that I need to figure out what the fuck is going on. So, <clears throat> y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all shit later. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. But if I was a female, it would have been taken serious. Well, I do a man. Baby. I would have to handle that a different way if it was a man touching me. I thought you was a woman. But um, I'm going to go ahead and exit so I can make this phone call, okay? Love y'all. Have a good one. Oh, yesterday. Oh, my God. I was sick as fuck yesterday. I guess there was a little bit more in me than I didn't know. But, baby, yesterday was the worst. Sweats. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't eat. I'll leave it like that. <clears throat> but I feel two thousand percent better than I have felt because baby, ooh, I'm gonna have to go Kaiser. And if I say I need to go to the hospital, you know it's serious because I'm scary. But I'm a whole lot motherfucking better now. Alka Celsius. Night Quills. Let me tell you. These together. Yeah, put me out. I didn't eat all yesterday. Nothing all right, Lun Lun. I eat it all day, Jim. I eat nothing. Like nothing. When I say nothing, I mean like nothing. I have juice, water, and I sipped on a little bit of soup, and it was nasty as hell. So I didn't do that. My sound is coming in and out. Um, well, Laganja already has something like that. So that wouldn't be, you know, fun and new for me to do because my sister already has something like that. And honestly, since I've done her show, I will kind of feel like I am copying off of her or 
doing something, you know, on the same line or lane. But the only difference is she don't smoke on live. It's not like a live smoking situation. We take a break, smoke, come back. But we can fix it. The audio is weird. Okay, let me see. I'm going like. Is this better, Jill? Oh, it looks different on my phone. It's even moving faster. Like the comments. And 18 others joined. Okay. Uh oh. Where's my weed? Because I need to smoke. Hold on, Jill. Did she steal my weed? Uh-uh. Hold on, Jill. I'm trying to find my goddamn weed. Hold on, Jeff. Boom! This is called Rio. It's the Indica. 21's Wallace. That stinks. Mm. Yep, that's fire. Why was the weed I was looking for right in my face? So I know for a fact <clears throat> I am very much getting my order. Can't get over how cheap. Baby 21 dollars. I'm cool with it. Shit. Twenty one dollars. Is your is your show okay? I love that damn Tashina Arnold. Is funny as fuck. But the whole show is good, dog. Give you some sis. Baby, where you at? You have to be in Cali. And now you can walk into the store with your ID. Your regular DMV ID that said you were 18 or 21. I think it's 18. And go in there and tell them what you want. They don't even have, you don't even have to have the everything. You know, the paperwork. But the whole show of Everybody Hates Chris is funny. Because I have never seen one dead or one boring episode from them neither. Like every episode has been funny to me. No tea, no shade, no pick lemonade. I didn't watch the show until it came like on TV, like on something. Yep, $21 for some weed. Oh, uh, baby, you over in Belgium? You ain't gonna ever get this weed, didn't you? You got to get that ass on the plane. I, yep, that's what I've been watching in reruns. Yeah. 
city going seven miles exactly on speaker. Not two, not ten, not one. She be going off. <laughs> My wife and kids. Yeah, that was funny. I didn't watch it as much, though. I watched it every blue moon. But I I only started watching it because of Tishina, I mean, uh, Tisha Campbell. And I really used to like them when they only showed her. I guess not just because I was a big fan of hers or whatever, but who knows. A for a month and a half, I don't know. The same, the same eighth. But well, you don't smoke then. You take little hits and puffs. You probably do yours out of a little hit of quitter. See, I'm a smoker, baby. I smoke marijuana. Okay. So how you smoke is it, probably not how I smoke. Cause I light up and I blaze. You probably just take a hit and you high and cool off them little hit of quitters. So you have an eighth. That's the last thing you use. That long, you're very grown and very old teas. Old people have an eighth that lasts them for months because all they do is roll a little joint, take a little hit, and then they say they're done. Baby, you're not smoking. You're doing, you're doing hits. And then you're quitting. You're not smoking. Yeah, oh, you very lightweight. Trust and believe me, you're lightweight. If you have an eighth for that long, baby, you're not rolling blunts. You're rolling miniature joints and you and putting it back out. Enjoy the weed, honey, and smoke this shit. You ain't gonna lose your teeth. You know what I mean? Like eight joints a day. I had a smoke in about 13 years. Oh, girl. Oh, because then you got pregnant with Scarlett. So, of course, you, wait, is that my homegirl? Yep, it is. Then you got pregnant with Scarlett, so, of course, you can smoke you. But right after, I would have gave birth to Scarlett. Give me weed. And you smoke that outside while she in the living room. Like, two times, and it got me fucked up. I don't want to try it again anytime soon. Without, you know, it ain't for everybody. You know, the first time could be a motherfucker. Oh, you had your boy first? Oh, you know, you had a son? <clears throat> yeah, because Scarlett's only, what, nine, somewhere around there? I tried smoking it, and it was, I was coughing so hard. <laughs> My hands flew to Venus. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like smoking strong stuff or the bongs and the little hit of quitters. Because I don't like that coughing. That coughing hurts. And I just need a, a cool, smooth breeze and just relax my damn senses. Your boys are never growing up so fast. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And girl, once 13 hit for the boy. Start taking your vitamins now. Because he going to be on it. Celebrity, big brother, so how many queens? The, oh, I don't. Oh, baby, I don't know. I don't know who do what. I just know what I do. Because you know when he ate, when he get thirteen, probably even now, things gonna start changing on like the sun girl. The insides of him gonna be becoming a man. That voice gonna change, and when that voice changes, girl, you already know the tea. So somebody better start talking to him about protection, because them girls gonna be on. Them. And they hot and young, don't know what's going on. Nobody know anything about covering up, protecting themselves. They shouldn't be doing it anyway, but they do it. But just she had to get on them. 
Because when that voice change, it's a whole nother situation. Because now you have old ass hoes. Like his friends, moms, aunties, neighbors, all that. Going to be right on them. Or any tall jib. Let me tell you. Friends. Parents. Are the ones. That be more down to do something with somebody. One of their friends. Because they seeing this young ass man. Growing up in front of their eyes. And they hot and bothered. I have tech. <laughs> Friends, parents could be too much. Let me just say that. And I'm glad the people that I encounter with, we wasn't the best of friends, but we was friends enough. Well, I spent the night. And that's what happened. I told my daddy. I didn't tell my mama, though. And all he said, well, did you use protection? Sure did. All right. I never told him about the, the father and neither. But I, I was older by that time. And we wasn't friends anymore anyway. But I had his daddy. <clears throat> Respect who mom? Who mama? What that talking about? Oh, baby, my mom would have went over there. I wonder what my mom would. She would have went over there. And it would have been a whole bad situation. Because her mind wouldn't have been thinking, oh, he's a young man. Her mind would have been thinking, that's my baby. And I'm the baby. And she would have lost her fucking mind. Because I remember when she thought my, um, one of her friends was sucking my brother's dick and his friends. And I remember she was, whew, I had never seen her that mad. She was getting shit lined up and shit, telling us this, telling I'm like, what is going on, baby? And he was like, no, we wasn't even over there. And I'm looking at him like, she was like, me, y'all did. But I didn't say that now because I was scared. But later, you know, it came out. But baby, when my brother was a teenager, no man, my mama was not having that. So I wouldn't tell her. But I never tell my mom who I'm having sex with. I tell my dad that as far as girls and stuff. But I would never tell my mom. Oh, mom, you know, I'm, I'm fucking my homeboy's neighbor. I'm fucking your homegirl. I'm going to tell her that. I wouldn't tell her nothing like that. <clears throat> but yeah. I, Oh, you know, they don't play that. And I'm, my family is very old school. And whooping in the stores, whoopings in public, cussing your ass out if they need to, all that still go to play. So all this stuff that kids do today, baby, we, we can't do that. All my little cousins will be like, damn, we get in trouble for everything. Welcome to our life. Because you're going to be thankful for it later on if you're smart. Because I tell my mama thank you all the time for whooping my ass. Girl, I want to thank you for whooping thine ass when I needed this. Because I'm scary of a lot of shit. It's a whole going out to their friends' kids. You know what? They be lonely. 
this is what I tell people. You have to pay attention to television. Yes, it's television. And some of that shit be made up, but it ain't made up. The storyline of what happened, high school students, then end up sleeping with the dad on the side, that shit really happened. Watch Lifetime. That shit just ain't no bitch sitting on the couch like me smoking weed and coming up with some shit. It happened. Somewhere. It happens. I just see what people write on different movies and TV shows and stuff. When people put that stuff out there and we watch it and say, oh my God, it's so good. Bitch. It happened somewhere. It happens. I mean, for real, just think about some of the shit you've seen on TV. And then all of a sudden you hear it's happening either on the news or it happened to somebody you know. It happened to you. It happened to somebody. It happens. And parents and students and their friends sleeping together is nothing new. Ain't nothing new. Baby, some kids need their ass whooped. I mean, whooped. They need that ass. They need one of them hits your mom give you with the back of her hand. I mean, with her hand on your back. Back a lot, a lot. And you just like, huh? And you hopping up and down. You can't. You haven't even screamed for five minutes, but she had tore your back completely off. Kids need that. Let me become president. If your kid is out of line, you have permission to whoop off in that ass. Nobody's going to jail. And all of that. But... You need to get the ass in order in the stores. Yeah. That causes you to lose your breath and everything. Because you, <laughs> you trying to get it back. Then it knock the wind out your ass. And it's with pain too. No, ma'am. That lives there and just, no, oh, she's going to be crazy. Like, it's just, uh, yep. Sure. You know what? Parents. Yeah, soap, no, 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 no. Oh, and swatted with a spoon. Well, I never did the soap. We never did the the, the soap in the mouth. We never uh, did the soap in the mouth. I wouldn't run against Oprah, but I sure would be on her team. That's a damn show. Print these out, sure will. Tell who to do what, sure will. Sit your ass down, Oprah said. Oprah president, I can be vice president. She worry about the other, and I tell her what the gay folks need. We'll be perfect. Baby, but you know what? My cousin used to um, take a spoon... And tell her daughters to make a fist. And she will bing, 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 bing. All on their knuckles and hands. I'm like, girl, you can't do that. And she was my older cousin. But I'm like, bitch, we cousins. You ain't about to pop me with no spoon. But I don't give a fuck how old you are. When I hit the word cousin. We equal. Not auntie. They said we're cousins. So I can light your ass up. Just because you grown, don't mean you're going to be whooping on me. No, ma'am. Ooh, she used to hate that. <clears throat> but, yeah. Tell that ass up, unspoken. We want to keep treating it happen. Safe place to be in when the kids are fired. That's crazy shit that actually happened. It's real. Oh, my. Do you know how 
You see, have that right? Yeah, I'm in California. L.A. area. Carver City, L.A. area. When people say, where's Carver City? Okay, I'm in L.A. area. Trying to make a little here to think here. Okay. You keep spinning, man. I don't know nothing, man. I haven't heard anything. So what do people, how do they, how do they expect people to raise their children? Because getting your ass whooped is part of you getting raised. You do something bad, you have to say no, 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 no. Like when they babies, they do something, you say no, 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 no. So they can get it in here. If they just busting out windows to everybody else that can't get in trouble for it, and then they're going to want to start making the parents pay for shit. Because what happened? They said... Oh, I think there was something with, like with social media. Or something, if your kids are bullying somebody on social media, the parents have to pay like a $250 fine or some bullshit. It was something crazy like that. But I'm like, well, and if the parents can't whoop their child from doing it, everybody ain't got time to be sitting five minutes in a wall in a corner. That ain't doing nothing. By that time, bitch, let me sing these two songs real quick and get this over with. My mom didn't put me in the corner. She whipped my ass with a belt. Or whatever she could get to. But they're going to fuck it up. And we're going to have more shootings and more deaths and shit. People going crazy because they never got their ass whooped in the morning. I mean, when they was younger. I promise you. I promise you. We ain't, gonna, we ain't doing that. Mm-mm. Cause we got our ass what? Thank you, devices and internet uses. You know what? I feel like this. You shouldn't have a cell phone, or you do have one. It need to be one of them flips, where it's just a parent call connection, because parents don't ever know. What their child is up to. If they had this while I was young, it ain't no guarantee I would be here. Because I was young. And dumb. Because we all was young and dumb at some point. I ain't think you were just dumb, dumb. I'm just saying, I mean, dumb meaning not knowing life. And if they had these little sex apps and hookup apps when I was coming up, oh, baby, please. Before I had someone come and talk to me about the gay life and how to watch out for people and this, 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 and that, <clears throat> which I knew I like them. You know, I just, you just know. From just going out, your parents always tell you that. At least mine did. But as far as the gay scene and stuff, oh, baby. Mm -mm, ain't no telling. Because they show so much on the apps. They knew they showing everything. So you like, oh, yeah, let's go. You about 15, 14, 13. And you just, oh, they done gave you some shit. You all fucked up. You don't know. They just want to make sure they can get in there. And you so doped up until you fucked up. They do not have a clue. Parents do not have a clue. Now, what the fuck is going on? Because I ain't going to say could be going on. Oh, it's going on. <clears throat> when have internet right. Yeah, they need to really do something different about them phones. Because it's a site called Adam for Adam. 
And on that site, there'll be some kids on there talking about, I'm 18. Well, baby, 18 ain't doing nothing for me. 18 ain't did nothing for me but say living at home with mama and daddy or somebody. That don't do nothing for me. You old enough? Okay, well, you know, well, you could be my kid. And I'm about to get off here. Thanks for, you know, clicking on. And I'll block them. <clears throat> and no tea, no shade. 21, I'll do nothing. I've never been attracted to anybody like younger than me. I may see some fine ass boys or whatever. Like, damn. But as far as men, men never attracted me when they was younger than me. I just started getting into that. Oh, well, you know, you're young, but you're not bad. You know, meaning attitude-wise, brain, mentality. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, baby, get your young ass off here. And they be on there. So, if they on something like that, and they have a phone or a tablet, <clears throat> excuse me, and you don't check it, baby. Lesbian too. let's not fake the phone. I know some old nasty ass lesbians before that uh, used to have young girls. I knew a couple of girls at school that had some old nasty ass women. I'm like, girl, this. Like, girl, what? I was shocked. But I never knew the girls. Bitch, you licking pussy. Oh, bitch, you done told me something. But, bitch, I'm going to the gay clubs. But, yeah, women do the same thing. Women and men. Ain't no different. We just never talk about the lesbians. But we got some little nasty assholes out there in the lesbian world, too. That's picking up little girls. You know what I mean? She don't mind spending twenty five hundred for this girl to get some long ass hair, cause she got a she got a shortcut. She don't care. So I give it to you. And today's day too, baby. Please, it's been more pussy talking about getting licked around here than the past two years than anything. Loving hip, uh, loving hip hop, all that. <clears throat> they all licking pussies. <clears throat> oh, I'm funny. Thank you. <clears throat> My friend was dubbing this. And what you say it happens sometimes. They don't come. And so I said, I did. That was too good because I was too late. Oh, fuck. But yeah, <clears throat> that's what happens. Parents just don't understand. But they just don't know. They don't think. Outside of things. And if your mind is not on that track or of venturing out, you will never think about going to places. Well, I am going to be in drag today, and I do feel about 4,000%. So I'm going to see if I can squeeze in a little, I have something to say today. <clears throat> Because I think that's what I may need to do. I need to do a video like that because they need to get it. They need to wake up in 2018. Somebody gonna be pregnant before they know. I remember this old lesbian tried to talk to me when I was in college and I was 18. I didn't understand back then until I told my mom and she was in her ass straight. They didn't talk to her. <laughs> Baby, she was trying to get a little piece. But, yep. And then it was a couple of girls who, um, it was a couple of girls who just let the women just lick on them so they could get stuff. Like, girl, I ain't, she ain't doing that until she was licking on my pussy. Like, what? Oh. Baby, that almost sound like some bitch had the flu part of the shit. It. And it was the one, a wet one, she thought it was going to be a dry. 
I wonder if this boy want to be with me. And I think he like Jasmine. And that's a no no. Good day, Jiz. I feel a lot better, Jiz. Oh, shit. Oh, Marco. Honey, when I tell you yesterday, I was fucked up. My bed is like, I'm 5'8". So my bed is right to my waist. Is it? Yeah. It, that's how high my bed is. So for me to come off that motherfucker into the cold, to go pee was torture on top of me having the chills. I'm like, Lord, I turned that heater on on high all the way. And then when I tell you I was sleeping and sweating that shit out all in one. Having that heater on was helping to fuck me out. But I was fucking up some water, though. Ooh, I was fucking up that water. I peed all night. Every hour, I peed. And I went to bed at 8 o'clock. Let me see. The half and a half nights came on at 6. Yeah, because whatever went on after that, loving hip-hop or whatever was on, I went to bed. Oh, I love you too, sister. I can't wait to see you again, Naomi. Girl was cold in Chicago. It, it was too cold. I hope that's my real sister too. Everybody with these fake ass profiles. I sound better. Don't I sound happy? Are you not? Why are you copying her? But hi, baby. How are you? I still have fun with my sister and I still miss her. But I still miss her. And it was still fucking cold in fucking Chicago. So everything I said was the truth. You just ain't the right bitch I'm trying to tell it to. <clears throat> Houston is not that cold. Well, I'll be in Houston at the end of the, well, the beginning of next month. The second and the third at Hamburger Mary's. And... I pause for a moment, but I don't know what's, um, well, I, I'm going to be at Mary's the second and the third, that's Friday and Saturday. And then I'm going to hang out on Sunday because my sister Chevelle going to be there performing. So I'm going to go support my Jeff. And we're going to tear motherfucking Houston up. They're going to be drinking, and I'm going to be drinking coffee. I'm not fucking with liquor, or alcohol, or wine, or nothing. I don't want to be bothered. I'm good on it. <clears throat> Have I ever performed at two cans? And Palm Springs, oh yes, all the time. I haven't been out there lately though because I have a show that I host um, at Lips in San Diego on Sundays. I'm the host there every Sunday night for their dinner show. So I'm always there now. But I will um, maybe one day come back and perform, you know, every blue moon. Oh, I love Brisbane. Oh, my gosh. Australia was so good. And I'm coming back, babe. Oh, thank you for living for me. Oh, you know what? I had this robe for about, about 12 years. And it's so warm. And I'm really not into the fatigue type of shit. But it was cold one day. And I was like, bitch, I need something. And I went into this store and I found this. Bitch, this gonna work. And it turned out to be my favorite. Because it's so soft. And... 
you know, it gives me everything. In the party city, you have to drink just no juice. I don't. I'm gonna smoke some weed and have some coffee, bitch, and we're gonna party. Trust me. Trust me. I could turn up just like everybody else, sober or with a little weed. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm not drinking shit. I don't want my body, don't feel like that no more. That wooziness and trying to stand up and you really can't and my words slurring and shit. Nah, I'm good. I don't want to do that. Just let me smoke and drink some coffee. I'll be good with that. Every blue moon I might, but I ain't thinking nowhere near right now. I don't want to drink shit. So I'm just going to start carrying me my own... Um, but they have those small coffees that's uh, instant coffees. I'm just going to start carrying those with me, too. If I'm going over somebody's house, I know they got a microwave. I always have water with me. Or, hell, they got some water. Fuck it. Put the faucet in there. Put that bitch in the microwave. Give me some sugar and let me do this. And I'm cool. But no, yeah. I don't want to learn nothing, Jeff. Yeah. Let's see if we can this cocktail. Where's not liquor? Uh, I would do that. I just don't want. I just don't want to do liquor. Baby, I don't know who blocked me because I don't be on nobody's page to see if I am blocked. That's why I have my own page. And I be on my page and I do a couple of celebrities, but I never be on none of the girls' pages to see what they're doing and, you know, what's going on. Because it really ain't my damn business. Hell, I don't even be on my own sister page and Kennedy's to see what she doing. I have my own. We pick up the phone, we talk, or we video chat. But I don't be on her page. That's like stalker tease. You know what I mean? If they block me, they did. I don't know, Jeff. You are gladly host me at your place. And you in Africa, you said? You understand my reason, love? I love you too, baby. And I mean, it's so simple just to call me and say, you know, what's going on? How can we get you over here? Da, 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 da. Let's roll. Life's all the hope, baby. Well, you know what? I always like saw the room. But <laughs> the first time, Marco, we went, the first time, we done, um, the first time we stayed in a hotel room together, I pulled out the Lysol and I was just, shh. and she was sitting at the door like, and I looked, I'm like, girl, come on. She's like, bitch, what are you doing? Girl, I'm Lysol in the room. This girl, uh-uh, do all this. <clears throat> so she pulled out her camera and started recording me and we was laughing. She put it on Snapchat and whatever, sent it to people. And uh, she was like, bitch, she like, saw everything. So when we went to Atlanta, she did the same thing. And I was like, just, I need you. You know, we, she was doing it. I said, no, bitch, go back, and I'm going to record you. So it was my turn to get her. Because she, bitch, get it all. Curtains, the handles, the doorknob, the sink, the tub. All, you got to like saw everything in a hotel room. Because if you don't know, they always have, um, they cleaning up more than one room. And when they are touching stuff, putting things back in order, they have on gloves. Them gloves have been with the mop, been with the towel to clean out the toilet top, all that. 
them gloves are on their hands until they are done. And they just went back in there, did the, touched the, the, the remote control, did all that, moved the chair, fluffed the pillows, all with some gloves on. Or they took the gloves off and it was time to do the bed, however, but they just cleaned the whole lot of rooms. So you got to spray that shit down. And I've been doing that for years. No, ma'am. <clears throat> Always wore flip-flops and people showers. Yeah, these are my lips. I just love recording the ass lip. Um, is it on already? I never even watched an episode of Celebrity Big Brother. Hey, I don't even think I knew it was out until, what, four years ago? Somebody brought it up to me? I don't even know how to watch it. Oh, if that, I don't have written channels. So I don't know, Jish. But I'm probably just going to wait until the regular Big Brother come on. I'm a Libra. Born October 16, 1976, 41. Living fucking life. With a slight headache right now, but I'm getting it in order. I couldn't even eat a damn M&M last night. I was trying to eat anything. My stomach and mouth was like, bitch, no, ma'am. I said, fuck it. I tossed and turned all night. Wait, you said it's raining bad in October. I mean, you said it's raining bad in San Diego. Oh, hell no. Well, I don't care. I'll go 40. I have no problem. I will be going 40 today when I hear rain. So it's what time? 10 or 4. <clears throat> that part in the sentence. Girl, I'm about to go over here and pick up that part. Pick up some weed. It's a feeling word. You just throw it in there. You see two people arguing. You say, girl, what's the thing? Girl, she found out about that part. Just say that part, shit. Somebody say something right. Instead of you saying, yeah, you say that part. It's raining bad in San Diego, just that part. <laughs> that means it's the truth. <laughs> Shit, it's raining bad in San Diego, that part. <laughs> and that's when you're in the middle of a conversation and somebody say something that's Really, really, really the tea? That part. Clarify. Yeah, you see a guy in some sweats and things swinging. You say, girl, look at him giving off that part. Now, what part he giving off? I don't know what he giving off, but he giving off that part. And I guarantee you, we will all look. When you say, look at him over there giving off that part. We're going to look and see what it is. You know, it could be whatever you want it to be. Look, <laughs> just give them that part. No, San Diego raining like that. All right. <clears throat> I definitely won't be doing nothing uh, fast tonight to go back in that rain. No, ma'am. Hmm.
Mm. Well, I could do my first number. It could be a fast one. Because after all that time, baby, I'd be warm the fuck. I'd be bundled the fuck up. Dicks in the summertime. Damn hot. <laughs> and sweats damn hot. I don't ever pay attention to guys in sweats, though. Maybe I need to start doing some of the shit other people be doing. Because I think I'm missing out on something. Their price is way too high. You need to cut his ass apart. You'd be like, bitch, the same breath stinks that part. <laughs> hey, Trina. Oh, my God, sister. Oh, sister, I feel, bitch, when I tell you, don't take your health for granted. Because I hate being sick. And I was just in that bed like, oh, I just want to get back to normal. But I feel so much better, bitch. Oh, my gosh. Energy levels on 1,500. So, you know, tonight, it's going down. And I sure hope we sit next to each other. Because I'm, baby, it's out of there. It's out of there. It ain't coming back no more, Jill. It's all your show with T.S. Madison. The doo-doo. <laughs> Remember, my baby was dead. <laughs> and she tried to tell me to leave a little doo-doo on her. No, ma'am. I'm not leaving doo doo or doo doo juice. No, ma'am. Not no. I love that crazy hoe. Sister, it's raining in San Diego, Trina. And they said, bad bitch. So, what time are you leaving? Because I'm going to the taco shop. When I get down there, eat that, then come to work. Damn. Bitch, this, he said very damn bad. I mean, it's fucking it up. They having floods and all that. Lord Jesus. Let me see if it's raining in Oceanside. It's a good thing to have these gadgets. Oh, that's something else coming up. You might start hearing other things, you. <coughs> Give some tea. What tea? It's cloudy. That's it. In Oceanside? You in Oceanside, honey? Baby, you in Oceanside? Um, oh, about three, four months. I wouldn't. Like when I go like out of town, like to the UK, I don't, I don't smoke over there, unless somebody bring me some. But um, other than that, I don't smoke. I just smoke it. I don't know why I smoke. Honestly, I just smoke because I like to smoke weed. But like, do I need it every day? No. It's just weed. You know, <clears throat> but yeah, I went like four months without having weed. And I almost didn't go back to smoking. Why did I smoke again? 
Oh. My boo came over. And he has a weed. You know, boo came over. Like, you know, go ahead. It's like, fuck it, let me smoke another blood. <clears throat> then started smoking again. I just stopped for no reason. I just was too busy to fucking grab my weed. I was on the I was on the grind. I had to cut weed out for real. From my pocket. And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna smoke because if I smoke, then I'm like, oh I'm gonna need a blunt. I had to cut it out because I had I had to, you know, keep my money together. For some things that I needed and to get some stuff taken care of and all that, pay parking tickets and stuff that was on thine ass. So I had to <clears throat> cut some shit out. And I don't need um I don't need it. And I sure didn't need it when I had business to take care of. Fuck that. You said Euclid and what? Oh, you are for the 94 West. Okay. That's not far from where I'm at. Where I um, grew up and live at in San Diego. <clears throat> no, Kennedy is gone. <clears throat> what advice do you need, huh? Yeah, baby, pay thy rent first. We, you don't need it. I'm not going to die if I don't smoke weed. Shit. I promise you that I won't. And now look at me. I'm in my place. I worked really hard. Show, 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 show. Anywhere there was a show, I was there. And I was performing my ass off every fucking, I mean, like, I always give my all when I perform. But I felt like I had to really get some money out of these motherfuckers because I needed every last dime I could get. Put that weed away. Fuck that. And now here I am. Oh, yeah. Let me see. But if you don't pay, you're going to your asses on the street. That part. <clears throat> That's how you use that part. If you don't pay your rent, your ass is on the street. And now I'm trying to think, did I pay my rent? I didn't pay my rent this month, so I better pay my rent today. Oh, yeah, I better pay my rent today. Because I didn't pay my rent today, just this Monday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I paid up. Duh. I forgot I was paid up and caught up on everything. Baby, yeah, you know how I did that. I took that lump sum and said, baby, take this for rent, <clears throat> girlfriend. Get you out the way, car no, all that. Take care of all this shit. Let me rest for like four months without worrying about rent and a car no. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Excuse me for clearing my thought all the time. Oh, I feel so much better. I looked like a dog last night. You finally caught my live. Oh, Jeff. Well, I'm glad you caught it too. Because you know what? <laughs> Let me reroute you, Travis. Okay, love. Thank you so much. What is it? I have to call it. I used to say 730. Who are you with me up there? Yeah. I got on here kind of early today. 
and after tossing and turning all night and then getting two straight hours of sleep, when I woke up, I just felt fucking different. Like, what the fuck? Hopped in the shower, took my sheets and shit off. I'm like, damn, I feel better. My back kind of hurt a little bit, but I'm going to knock that right on out the fucking ball for. I perform on Sundays at Lips. The show starts at 8.15. And I'm there every Sunday. I'll be there this Sunday. I need to make you some hair. Go right ahead. Send me your address. Inbox me. But I show we're rarer and give you all that gym. Oh, Troy, I feel so much fucking better. You don't under fucking stand. I feel like the old me. Before I was with the flu shit or whatever the fuck that was. They didn't book me in London. That's why I didn't go. But if they had booked me, I would have went. Well, you know, I went to the other thing. Will I be at DragCon? Yes, I will be there. That flu been going around San Diego. Baby, that flu had been fucking people up in San Diego. Like my family, had, all of them got it. And I got a big family. Two days after another. One person was shitting and throwing up. No shame, but <clears throat> I was like, "Woo!" I didn't have that part. I did up a little bit, but I was like, "Oh hell no, bitch! I got money to make. I don't want to be sick. Fuck that." But I did decide I want to bring. I want to buy me a little refrigerator. I'm going to buy me a little microwave, <clears throat> and I'm going to keep, you know, little utensils and bowls and stuff right there. So when I am sick, I don't have to get up just to go to the bathroom. Going in the kitchen and make some soup and all that type of shit. Oh. I'm like, fuck. But you got to do something. Hey, Jeff. Bitches, it's still zero below 19 in Chicago. No, I'm not going to Continental Plus this year. I, I only went to go support uh, a contestant that was there. But other than that, I didn't know. I'm not going. But I am going to be back in Chicago, though. I'm not sure. Nope. It's 39 today. Warm. Girl. <laughs> Girl, that is not warm. And I know y'all don't know how to act out there with 39. And I see why. Because when you 10... And below 150 out there, when you get 39, baby, y'all want to put on swimsuits. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm good, love. How are you? Okay, yes. Girl. I don't know when I'm going out there. I've been meaning to get in contact with you. How do you handle such a talk or harass that work? What? Uh, tell him I say hey. 
Did, all right for Switzerland. Okay. What did you roll your blunts with my hand? Um, <laughs> I just got thrown off. It's on the countdown, but something just threw me off. I'm going to come back and try to get 